fuck. <laughs> this is tight. Asked me to come out here, so I came. I passed through Calabasas, and now I'm in Topanga, as y'all can see. I'm jazz in Topanga. Uh, this shit's fucking nice. I know what Trip Red was talking about. <laughs> this shit's so sick. But yeah, y'all. Um, today is my one year, one year, one year post op top surgery. Um, so this is me making a little video. Basically, I just want to go over like what has changed. I'm gonna just show y'all. Y'all gonna see. Let me insert this like the the differences between me like day one out of surgery versus now and there there's difference so watch that niggas found out i'm for the hoe they doubt me out cause they ain't even rolling up this purple baby rolling up this purple baby baby just keep parking like keep parking like keep parking like got a nigga thinking about when i'm going to penetrate dog and i'm pussy i'm a dog and i'm pussy But yeah, man, fucking that surgery that I saved my motherfucking life. Like, I don't know what I would have been doing if I didn't get that surgery, bro. Like, I'm just able to live now. Like, no cap. I know that sounds so like, uh, but nah, fool. Like, I couldn't do a lot of things. Like. I wouldn't want to do a lot of things because I knew that my chest would bother me. Like, I wouldn't want to go out that much. Like, I mean, I would, but I would be thinking about my chest the whole time. And, like, now, it's, like, a weight lifted off of me. So, yeah, man. I'm just kind of, like, shitting myself because this view is fucking beautiful. Like, it's 2 right now, 2 o'clock, so it's kind of, like, right. This is what I'm staring at. This shit's so pretty. Bro, you know, I couldn't even have my shirt off for the longest time because, like, uh, you can't let the sun hit your stars directly. So, the sun is beaming. This is my time, bro. I'm going to show y'all my test. And the light in motherfucking Topanga. So, y'all better like this video because, yeah. I'm all shy to take my shirt off. No one's here, bro. Alright, y'all. So, the shirt is off. Chest is looking like I do. I have been working out, so my pecs have just been developing, as y'all can see. Man, this nigga lame. He gon' act day one and switch for a lot of change. She chasing little fame, and I'm chasing little Frank. Gang pulling up. Whole ass physique up there. I feel like such a fucking douche. I'm over here flexing and shit. I don't go fuck. I work hard for this body, so I get to flex it. But yeah, y'all. My scars, bro. Compared to like the first pick, them shits were dark as hell. And now they're like faded. Right, right in here, it's kind of like, you can see, I think these are just stretch marks, so I'm not even tripping about that. It has nothing to do with the scarring. I just have stretch marks from, you know, my skin growing and shit. But yeah, like my chest is pretty, if I do say so, my motherfucking self. If nobody walks up on me, nobody will. I'm a, I'm a black dude, a black dude. I'm a black dude with no shirt on. That's intimidating, no cap. But yeah, y'all, yeah. I'm feeling good. My one fucking year, I have to do something for myself. Even if it was just coming out here and like clearing my head, you know? Like that should help. But yeah. One year post op. I really ain't gonna say too much because like y'all get the gist and everything. But yeah, um, I know a lot of people have been asking me like for tips and shit. Um, there's not really too many tips. Just like take care of your scars, bro. Like don't do too much. You know what I mean? You can't really do too much. You know, working out will help. I've said that before, working out will help. Develop develop your tits. Um, what else? Cocoa butter, that lanolin cream shit. That shit works wonders. Um, yeah, I honestly have been kind of like wishy-washy applying that shit. I'd be forgetting to put that shit. But when I do remember, then I do put cocoa butter. And uh, yeah, this is what it's looked like. I'm 
proud with my I'm proud with my results. I like that shit, you know. I like that shit a lot, you know. It's not even about necessarily the, the look of it, cause bro, like I really don't give a fuck, bro. The thing that like pissed me off or that was frustrating me was like just having something on my chest. So like my chest is flat, I'm cool, you know what I mean? Like 90% of the time my shirt is on. So it's like it doesn't even fucking matter. Uh, I'm lying, I'd be having my shirt off all the fucking time. It's just cold now cause it's fucking winter, but yeah, y'all get the point. Like, I'm happy. That's all that fucking matters. Nah, this I don't know, dude. It's just so like I don't know, bro. The sun is like beaming on me perfectly, bro. Like, I don't know, dog. It's like my ancestors are telling me to just stay here and just absorb this this moment. You know what I'm saying? Plus the light, bro. bro. I'm lit. I'm really lit. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all at the next spot. This is a little. It's a one my one year video. But I'm also just gonna throw in these clips of me fucking like adventuring today, cause, bro, like it's my one year, so I'm gonna show you what the fuck I do to celebrate that shit because bro i'm gonna have a good ass day like i've been through so much motherfucking shit and i ain't trying to say that to be a, like have a pity party like nah i've been through so much motherfucking shit so now that i actually feel free and like myself i'm gonna enjoy my motherfucking life you got me fucked up to think i like i don't give a fuck if i come off as like whatever take it how you want it i'm lit like i'm lit respectfully I like crayon please hear what i'm saying and i'm here solo dolo Yes, sir, because you know what? I've been through all this shit by myself. Like, I love the homies and all you, but this is for me. Like, no cap. <laughs> this day is for me. I'll probably see my girl and my homies later, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. But right now, this is this is for me. This is for me. But, yeah, I fucks with everybody who's been with me, though. Like, through this whole process, man. Like, I did not wake up and look like this. Like, you know, it took some time. It's been two years on testosterone. I have to make a video for that too, but right now I'm focusing on my uh, top surgery video, which is pretty much done. Two years on T, one year post op top surgery. Christian is, Christian is busting. Like, this is Christian, bro. Like, I finally see myself in whole. Like, my life is coming together, man. I thank God, like, I thank God. First and foremost, too, I wanna thank motherfucking God, bro, because I couldn't, like, I could have had a way harder journey, bro. I could have went through a lot more shit. Like, yeah, I did go through shit, but, bro, I could have went through a lot more shit, man. Like, I know people that have been waiting and waiting and just have had it worse than me, bro. So, I'm really fucking thankful. Like, I'm so fucking thankful, man. So fucking thankful. Some snakes in the grass? Are those are my old friends? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was funny. You can't even cap. Get it? Because the snakes, you know? And, like, yeah, whatever, whatever. But yeah, I'll catch y'all at the next spot. I pro I'm probably gonna head over there now. Uh, just cause I wanna still be there when the sun is out. Cause it be getting dark as fuck early. Fuck Cali for that. Fuck the time change for that. So yeah, let's get it. I gotta put my cocks in the sport mode because I don't know. There we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright. Oh good. Oh 
Oh shit, I think I parked in the wrong section. Oh fuck. Ah, uh, they got all the benches and shit closed off. Cause we are in a pandemic, but I don't care. Honestly, the other spot was way sicker just cause it was at like the top. You know what I mean? This is just like the whole park. Still pretty sick though, still sick. I'm probably just gonna go take a piss and head out. Cause there's no views, it's just a park. This is what it's looking like. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's nice and all, but it's just a park and everything's closed off. So, that's pretty lame. I see people. We'll go on mask on. <laughs> oh shit, so basically there's just hella trails. As y'all can see. And I'm not trying to fucking walk the trail, so... I'm gonna take... I'm, I'm take my black ass back. I don't even know if the bathrooms are open. It is. What else are you gonna do for the rest of the day? But yeah, this is a cool little park. I'll probably come back here when I want to take a hike, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But for the rest of the day, I really want to hit the gym and eat something good. So you're probably gonna catch me eating something bomb as fuck next. Uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna eat, but we'll find something. Alright y'all, we're finally out of there. I said I was gonna go eat somewhere, but to be honest yo, I made some dank ass ground turkey tacos and some fresh homemade guac. So I'm probably gonna go home and smack that. If I'm being honest. Smack that means eat it. So I'm probably gonna go home and eat that. Um, yeah. Good ass day, honestly. Also, I wanna go home, bro. Bro, my house from right here is an hour and 40 minutes away. So, like, yeah. I wanna go home and just fucking kick it for a bit. Uh, edit this video. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. Get those get those one year, one year post-op top surgery. Gains! You feel me? But yeah, y'all. Damn, this motherfucker is speeding and shit. We'll go. Okay, sir. Shit. But yeah, y'all, I just want to say thank you again for watching this video, for fucking with me, all that, all that. I'm uh, probably going to end it off here because, yeah, I'm going to just go home, smack some food, hit the gym, the regular, the regular. But yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Later.